this Titanobo, Vega Snake. Yonixaurus didn't see us. Now try hiding here. Also didn't dino experiment. Nanic sword. Now let's see if we need to go find the mighty tyrant. Just think the T-Rex could see look Since T-Rex, let's hide and find out if he can spot us. Uh-oh, T-Rex spotted us. Now try hiding here. Colors are disguised. Just comps it not. T Rex does it. I guess he. Oh no. T Rex was. But we. T Rex eagle. So we still. I have one. Some snake. of all time. But how do snakes see? Some snakes see the heat that bodies make. So, camouflage won't work on Titanoboa vision. Fanatic Saurus's night vision couldn't see us disguised as Compsognathan. Neither could T-Rex's eagle eye vision. But maybe Titanoboa's heat vision will be the best eyesight for hunting. It's a real Compsognathus. Titanoboa can totally see Compsognathus. Thanks for your help, Compsognathus! Good luck! Even though the Nanoxaurus has great night vision, and the T-Rex has eagle binocular vision, it's the Titanoboa, a prehistoric snake that has the best eyesight for hunting. Catrosaurus. I think we just missed a dino fight. Let's find the answer to experiment 508 to see how Catrosaurus will... 
Let's use our backpack. Now that we're transformed into the we can startle Kentrosaurus into the are powerful tail spikes. But those aren't the only sp It's also got super We need to attract a big Let's find some meaty Yes! Tyrannosaurus Rex! Now we'll get to see those side spikes in action. T-Rex with your super strong side spikes. Bye, Kentrosaurus! Just remember to use all your spikes every day. Keep Kentrosaurus swings its bony tail spikes to protect its tail. It swings its bony side spikes to protect its sides. And Kentrosaurus swings its bony back spikes. Great work! We see what Nanak saw. Experiment 507 is a success! Nanoxaurus relies more on smell than... Great work! Tap here to hide out of sight. out of sight. It's a match! This 
This fossil is an Archelon Flipper. At first I thought the fossil was the sail of a Spinosaurus, but it was too small. I thought it might be a Plesiosaur Flipper, but it was too small. But it was a Flipper. It belonged to Archelon, an enormous prehistoric turtle. We observed two new prehistoric creatures. Plesiosaurs are prehistoric marine reptiles. Archelon is the... And great work!